Okay, buddy, here's the chicken tractor coop, as we call it, um, finished. I'll do a series of a few photos here. I didn't take a whole lot in the process, but it just kind of sketched it up on paper. Then it kind of morphed into this thing. I thought it was gonna take a day, it took three. <laughs> I'm waiting for some more staples to finish the chicken wire off, but you can see we've got a big door here on an angle with a latch. So I'll flip that open. Then we can get in there. We're gonna have the feeders hanging up inside there. We haven't got them yet, but we have a little door here and a little run. Hopefully that's not too steep. We'll see how that goes. Oh, here comes a chicken. We'll open the latches on the back door here. I put this one on here to keep it from bowing out. And there's a big access hatch. We got a couple spots here for them to have their eggs. And I screwed a couple pieces of wood in there. You see, it's pretty easy. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty good size. So it's eight feet long, four feet wide. It's two feet high here. And then this is two feet on the side here and it's another foot vertically. So it's three feet to the peak to the base. So it's five feet tall on this whole side. So I found some old wheels laying around, put a bolt in it. Um, found some flat bar at work. There Just you go. put that on. Chicken's so pretty in. easy. I think there's, I was trying to think of what there was for a material list. I'll put it down below in the description. Um, how many two by fours? There's two sheets of plywood at CDX. Um, I think it was three eighths inch. Ah. That made this all these little pieces were just some shim scrap pieces um, we had a couple two by twos and i think we were like, like 12 or something two by four something like that so um, yeah so we'll do a, a bunch of photos after this of the build and you can let me know what you think so it's pretty big we're only going to put four chickens in it and we're just putting them in for the first time to see how they like it so like comment and subscribe Okay, we're just letting the chickens get Ready? accustomed to their new home. So we've got all four little guys in there. Gals, I should say. We've got a temporary food thing in here. So we're gonna do a couple of feeders like that. Well, a couple of feeders. One feeder, one water. I see they spilled their grit thing already, but it's got an eye on it. So what I'm gonna do is up in here, I have that crossbar. So I'm gonna put an eye on there and hang my idea is to hang the food from there. I want it undercover. Actually, I may actually run a bolt through the tin or run another board up. So I don't want it in the weather. I don't want the rain to get in there. So somewhere it's gonna have to be undercover. Um, I don't know. What do you guys usually do? Do you put them out here? I guess I could hang it underneath the coop, but it's kind of hard to get to. I guess I can make an access door on the side, but it'd be nice to have it undercover somewhere. Um, Anyway, this is just some old tin I had laying out back. And then I just made a little ridge cap out of some stainless at work and just bent it. Yeah. And I just kind of screwed it in there. So and then the triple latches. Yeah, if you have any questions, let me know below. Uh, I want to say we're into this for probably 150 bucks or something. It turned out to be quite a bit more than I thought it was going to cost. Uh, and that's counting not having to pay for the tin for the roof. 
or the wheels or the galvanized I made those out of. But two boxes of screws and uh, all the wood hinges, lashes. Had to buy all that yet, so. And the chicken wire, so. There's a 50 foot roll of two foot chicken wire, did all that and still had some left over. So pretty happy with that. So I know one thing we're gonna do yet is put a door on the coop. So I don't know, I think the easiest way is gonna be to put it in and out from the inside. But I'm not sure how we're gonna get the chickens in there yet. So it's kind of a work in progress. We'll figure it out as we go. But everything's double coated with kills. I hope that lasts. Um, we'll see whatever we do for some changes in the future, but so far pretty happy, but time will tell. Well, I think it should keep the animals out. I used my Harbor Freight stapler and stapled all the um, chicken wire on there and then screws with my DeWalt um, tools screwed them in. So all the links will be down below in the description. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think or what I should have done different. I appreciate it.